Hey everybody, this is William from the Godzilla Files coming at you today with a new countdown video. Today we're going to be looking at my favorite King Ghidorahs from the Godzilla series. So I'll only be looking at the Godzilla series so you won't be seeing any King Ghidorahs from the Mothra series. So unfortunately no Grand King Ghidorah or anyone else like that will be making this countdown. I am basing it off on my personal feelings as far as their looks, powers, and just them themselves in the overall films that they were in. And another reason why I'm doing this is because recently the supposedly lead version of King Ghidorah appeared online and while this was proven to be fake this got me thinking about how I would like King Ghidorah to appear in the next Godzilla film so without further ado let's get started with this countdown okay one of the biggest gripes that I have with this design and this Ghidorah in general is that he's not threatening. So because of that, he is not higher on the list. To me, King Ghidorah, whether he's being a good guy like in this film or a space invader from his past films, he should be threatening. He is Godzilla's most powerful enemy and without that fear that we have of him, he really doesn't do anything for me. And that's where this GMK design falls flat. Kaiser Ghidorah is almost the complete opposite of Ghidorah from GMK. He is extremely powerful, and we see how he is easily able to defeat Godzilla in one-on-one -on -one combat throughout most of their battle. And honestly, it's the way Ghidorah should be, and that's something I really like about this design. But besides him being threatening, they kind of rework his appearance completely, and I think it doesn't really work. While his overall size is much larger than most of the Ghidorahs that we're used to, I mean, he honestly towers over Godzilla, his look just isn't that great. His wings seem to be too short for his body and also the four legs is something that I'm not that big of a fan of. King Ghidorah from the Heisei series is probably one of the best examples of updating a classic look and making it better. By far one of the best looking kaijus from the Heisei series, this is a very good example of how good the creators were at updating the old looks of the kaijus. And honestly, it does nothing wrong. It really does keep that essence of King Ghidorah intact, makes him threatening, but also kind of with the technology they were able to do more and it really does show this is probably the King King Ghidorah that most people like, but it's not my favorite. Mecha King Ghidorah is actually my favorite version of the Heisei Ghidorah. Even though he only appears towards the end of the film, I just love this design. It looks so cool. The fusion of flesh and technology is never better than this kaiju. And, you know, when we look at it, you know, between the armor that's all over his body and even the robotic head is a great contrast between that and his two heads that survived his last battle with Godzilla. And, you know, it, it just looks so cool. It really does. And that, and I think that's the real difference. I like that. I like that they took a chance changing his design a little bit from earlier in the film. King Ghidorah from the Showa series is my personal favorite. Honestly, you can't beat the classic look. He is a perfect perfect kaiju design in so many ways. I mean, he looks completely different from anything that we had seen up until that point in the Godzilla series. He was so threatening looking. Even his roar was so interesting. It seemed almost from space, you know, and that's what works so well. You can really feel that this is almost a creature that was that has been flying through space and that we have never come across. And really the design is near perfect. While maybe as the series went on, as they've updated him a little bit in the Showa series, kind of lost some of that threatening appeal to him. But that first Ghidorah film is probably the perfect version of King Ghidorah. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this countdown. Let me know in the comments below what are your favorite King Ghidorah designs. And, you know, if you're looking forward to seeing if Legendary does something completely different with Ghidorah or kind of keeps it to that classical look that we know and love. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be talking to you later. Bye.